the MSP430 has a reputation for being very energy efficient. How much power does an MSP430 actually use when it's on a TI launch pad? Well, we know to calculate power, we just need to measure the voltage and the current. So, first we need to measure the voltage and then the current. I am going to power the MSP430 using a couple of scrap batteries. I'm going to put these batteries in series using a couple of whoa, a couple of magnets. These are neodymium magnets. I like to use these to connect batteries together. It makes uh, makes it pretty easy when you don't have to solder anything. So I'm going to put these in series. The voltage is about 2.8 volts. I'm going to round off to the nearest tenth. So this is really cool. I think that when you put magnets on the batteries, you can easily connect a alligator cable to it for testing purposes. Put a magnet on this end. Okay, we've got this all wired up. The launch pad is being powered strictly by these two AA batteries. And the current going through the circuit is being measured by this multimeter. We're getting around 11 milliamps. It depends if that red LED is blinking or not. So we're using up about 11 milliamps. We can save some power by disabling the onboard LEDs. So I think first I'll take off jumper 5 for the red LED. So the red LED is now off. And that didn't save us very much power, but it shows that the launch pad is using a steady current of 10 milliamps. If we disable the green VCC LED by opening this jumper, jumper 3, and we save a bunch of power. We drop way down. Now we're using in the microamp range. So with uh, the LEDs disabled on the board, we're only using about 350 microamps. To verify that the MSP430 is powered on and it is working, it's kind of hard to tell without the onboard LEDs lit up, but I have it wired to my external circuit, a blinking LED. This blinking LED is controlled by the microcontroller. It blinks faster and faster as time goes by, and the LEDs are being powered by this battery way over here. But only when the MSP430 tells it to turn on a transistor. The transistor is over here on the circuit board. But this blinking pattern is being controlled by the MSP430. So even though there are no LEDs on the circuit board, I still know that it's on. It's actually being powered. So we are using uh, just about 365 microamps. So now we can calculate the power that this thing uses. If you do the calculations on this, you find out that the power is 0 0.001 watts, which is also equal to 1 milliwatt. That's small. That's a tiny amount of energy being used. To me, that is really amazing that this microcontroller while on and active and doing something is only using a single milliwatt of power. I went back to milliamp mode because I want to see how much power the board uses with the LEDs lit up on the board. So I'm going to put the jumpers back on 
So with the green LED on, we're now using 10 milliamps. With the red LED on, it's blinking. Doesn't seem to use a lot of power for the red. Okay, so um, if you want to see how much power the launch pad uses with the LEDs on, uh, I, I'm going to assume the current is about about 11 milliamps. That bumps up the power consumption up to about 30 milliwatts. To summarize this experiment, we find that when we have the pretty LEDs on the launch pad and the MSP430 is busy working, the power consumption in my setup is about 30 milliwatts. If you're okay with disabling the the LEDs with the onboard LEDs disabled you bring your consumption down to a milliwatt